like, comment, and subscribe for more content. <clears throat> Notification bell? Oh. Ooh, what's up guys welcome to this edition of a funko podcast the first edition of a funko podcast in 2023 i am dk wrestler and i'm md shady and in today's podcast it is one of our yearly traditions it is the top 10 wish list for the new year obviously being 2023 now we started this last year as a full on podcast instead of just a random segment in one of our year end podcasts which this also by the way is our very first podcast under the brand new name of our YouTube channel for this top 10 list. Obviously, we're going to name off 10 things we want to see in 2023. But before we do that, we want to actually look back at the last two prior years of doing wish lists for Funko Pops that we want to see in the new year, just to kind of give an overview of how many we possibly had gotten right. And it doesn't have to be like right as terms to that specific year, because it has happened before where we've talked about certain pops we want to see, and they end up happening a couple of years after when we predicted them. But without further ado, we're going to talk about the last two years, starting off with 2021, which I'll mention about mine and see whether I have actually gotten that correct or I have not gotten that and then work to MD also and then go to 2022 and then move on to what we want for our wish list. So starting off 2021, for my wish list, I first wrote an ad icons of the Burger King mascot, which did not happen, at least not yet. It would be awesome, though, because we already obviously see McDonald's ones, so I don't see why Burger King hasn't been a thing yet. Barney Stinson with the rubber ducky tie from How I Met Your Mother, that has not happened yet, and we haven't seen any more How I Met Your Mother pops since the initial three that we had gotten in, I believe it was 2020 we had gotten those. A Metallica Black Album pop album, which it did happen, and it happened in a pop deluxe album form involving James Hetfield, Lars Ulrich, Kirk Hammond, and Jason Newstead, and they are black and white pops. Still have yet to obtain that, but hopefully I do obtain it soon before it gets much higher in secondary market price. Nirvana's Nevermind in a pop album form, which unfortunately that has not happened, and I don't think it's going to happen for a while, especially with the whole thing involving the guy who was the baby on the front cover of that album and constantly putting Nirvana in lawsuits for some reason, even though he's been making money off of Comic Cons from that cover for a while, and now he's getting mad about the whole thing. I don't know why. Then I predicted a Bananas and Pajamas 2-pack, which that has not happened. Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog, a new version, which yes, that did happen. It didn't happen in 2021, but it did happen in 2022 for Target Con, and it was a flocked pop, and and it was great to see that for 2022. And hopefully there's more Knuckles Pops in the future. An all pop rides wave of Fast and the Furious for their 20th anniversary. Uh, regardless whether it was the 20th anniversary or not, we have not gotten any pop rides or at least new pop rides for the Fast and the Furious lineup yet. Uh, it would be awesome though. A Pepsi Man pop ad icons, which that has not happened yet. And there isn't really a lot of Pepsi merchandise as it is for Funko, besides the little sweet for Dr. Pepper. And then like for the NASCAR lineup, I believe there is a racer with a Mountain Dew sponsorship for their Funko pop. So that's the only sign we've seen at the moment for Pepsi for Funko. A Monsters, Inc. 20th anniversary wave that involves Mike, Yeti, Sully with Sled Pop Rides, and George Sanderson, which we did get a Monsters, Inc. 20th anniversary, but it didn't have all the pops that I mentioned. We did get a new Mike Wazowski. We did get the Yeti in both a normal and a flocked version. We did not get the Sully with the Sled Pop Rides, and we did not get George Sanderson in pop form, but we did get a new George Sanderson as terms to a Funko Soda figure. And then the last thing that I had predicted for 2021 was a wave of Jingle All the Way Pops featuring Howard, Ted, 
Myron, Jamie, Turbo Man, Booster, and Dementor, which we did get Jingle all the way, except that half the pops I mentioned did not happen. The ones that did happen, though, were Howard, Myron, Turbo Man, and then Dementor in a way because it was Myron as Dementor, which definitely made sense. But we did not get Ted, Jamie, or Booster. And hopefully, if there was at least one more pop I'd like to see, hopefully it is a Booster. And then for MD Shady's list, we're going to go through the entire list and see if any of the pops he predicted here were actually made yet or not, which I guess the first one I kind of already mentioned, but I guess MD will mention whether it has happened yet or not. A wave of How I Met Your Mother pops featuring Lily, Marshall, Robin, and Barney with the rubber ducky tie. Yeah, unfortunately, we haven't seen any more How I Met Your Mother pops, but I still think that we might, considering we did get the con-exclusive Robin Sparkle, so I don't think Funko's uh, completely out of seeing more How I Met Your Mother pops. Biker Mice from Mars. Yeah, we also haven't seen any Biker Mice from Mars. This is definitely a huge want for me. I do collect the figures, so it'd be awesome to see them in pop form, hopefully soon. A pop YouTube lineup. Pop YouTube would be really cool. I think that'd be a lineup that would do pretty well for Funko, but it hasn't happened yet. I believe when we did this pod, I discussed of uh, Pops being like David Dobrik and Mr. Beast and like Jenna Marbles, some YouTubers, some famous, famous YouTubers like that. And maybe one day we will see that. Tim Horton, as in the hockey player, not the ad icons for the Canadian restaurant. Yeah, unfortunately, we haven't seen a Tim Horton either. I think that this is definitely a potential, though, and it would be really cool to see it shared to Tim Horton's restaurants. A wave of fairly odd parents pops featuring Timmy, Cosmos, Wanda, Mr. Crocker, and the Crimson Chin. Unfortunately, we haven't seen fairly odd parents pops. We have seen a bunch more Nickelodeon as well as Cartoon Network pops, so I do think that this is a potential for next year. Auntie Donna featuring Mark, Zach, and Broden. We haven't seen this either, and I'm not really surprised by this. They are an Australian comedy group, and they haven't dropped really any new stuff as terms to Netflix. So maybe if they do, then maybe Funko would potentially do that. Add icons for M&Ms. M&Ms have not happened, and I don't know if they will. Hopefully they do, but right now it's not looking good. Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky's one that is one of my most wanted pops, so hopefully this does happen. I know that he just posted on his Instagram that season three of his show Dave has been finished filming, so maybe we will see some pops for Dave at least. An ad icon for the Nesquik Rabbit. Nesquik Rabbit has not happened. I know that there was a little bit of rumors that it was a potential, so hopefully those rumors are true eventually. And last but not least for 2021 for your wish list is a new wave of the Muppets featuring Scooter, Sweetums, Statler, and Waldorf, Tupac, and Beaker. Unfortunately, we still haven't seen any more Muppets besides the originals with the different exclusives that we've seen years ago. So I don't know if we ever will see more Muppets, but hopefully we do. All right, so it looked like for 2021, I had a decent amount that came true, but nothing came true for MD. But let's look at 2022's wish list from last year when we had done the full on podcast. So for my wish list, first, I had wrote Robots, the 2005 movie that features a set with Rodney Copperbottom, Fender Pinwheeler, Herb Copperbottom, a six inch Big Well, and Phineas T. Ratchet, which unfortunately those pops never happened in 2022. Will it happen in the future? Who knows? Buzz Lightyear of Star Command that features Buzz Lightyear, XR, Mira Nova, and a six inch booster Munchapper. Unfortunately, that did not happen, but I also did mention that I put that because I didn't want to put Lightyear, which we ended up getting pops for because we didn't know nothing about Lightyear at the time of doing the podcast for last year's wish list besides seeing the one trailer. So I kind of figured this wasn't going to happen, but hopefully uh, it does soon, especially if Disney will actually put the movie on Disney Plus because it's not on there, surprisingly, yet. A Metallica's Master of Puppets Pop Deluxe albums featuring James Hetfield, Kirk Hammett, Lars Ulrich, and Cliff Burton, which this did happen in a way because we did get Master of Puppets, but in the deluxe moments, the concert moments that they had made, that was a Walmart exclusive, and it featured all four members that I mentioned, James Hetfield, Kirk Hammett, Lars Ulrich, and of course, Cliff Burton, my favorite bass player of all time, finally being immortalized into pop form, which is awesome. And a lot of people were really excited about that. Pop deluxe covers, which basically would be the same exact thing for like 
pop deluxe albums but for comic covers or i also have game covers here which i had wrote for comic covers fantastic four avengers and justice league and then for game covers i had sonic the hedgehog 3 gta 5 and call of duty black ops 2 which nothing of that sorts happened yet besides in a way even though it's not a deluxe comic covers it is a regular comic covers is the walmart exclusive i believe it was called justice league of america if i'm not mistaken where it was like that kind of like squid or octopus thing where you had like basically five of the justice league members i believe hanging off of the tentacles so that kind of is a deluxe in a way but not exactly in the way that i was thinking of a wave of Brooklyn Nine-Nine Pops that features Jake Peralta, Amy Santiago, Charles Boyle, Raymond Holt, Terry Jeffers, Gina Linetti, Rosa Diaz, a Scully and Hitchcock two-pack, and Doug Judy, which unfortunately that has not happened yet. It is rumored that there are Brooklyn Nine-Nine Pops in the works, and I believe from what I heard, it is with exactly the four characters that I mentioned first, which are Jake Peralta, Amy Santiago, Charles Boyle, and Raymond Holt, and the other ones are not currently on the list whether it's because they're going to be exclusive to somewhere or they could be comic-con exclusives down the line in 2023 but i think we will see those in 2023 then i had the spiderwick chronicles that featured a jared and simon two-pack arthur spiderwick thimble tack and hog squeal which did not happen and i kind of figured that it wasn't going to happen because i did mention on that podcast last year that it was kind of like a from out of left field kind of prediction where i it felt like it was unlikely out of all the predictions I did that that was highly unlikely to happen. A set of Sam Raimi Spider-Man pops featuring Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Mary Jane Watson, Harry Osborn, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, and a human spider versus bone saw in ring moments, which I was somewhat right on this because we did get the new set of Spider-Man No Way Home pops that features that Tobey Maguire Spider-Man being called the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. And then we have technically Norman Osborn with like the unmasked or just hooded Green Goblin. And then the Green Goblin we were used to seeing back when the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man came out in 2002 uh, with the glider also. That was a box lunch exclusive. So those were technically made. The other ones, obviously, they were not made. But hopefully there is some sort of Sam Raimi Spider-Man pops be made soon, especially with like maybe Spider-Man with part of his mask ripped. And then I wrote a sports through the ages, more specifically NHL, where my example would be like having different players of the Maple Leafs with different jerseys from way back in the day from different eras. And unfortunately, that has not happened. That is kind of like a very untapped potential that Funko uh, needs to take advantage of because I think that would sell pretty decently, even if it was like either a Fanatics or NHL.com exclusive. Then I put a Herbie the Love Bug Pop Rides, which that has not happened. And hopefully that is a thing that happens because that'd be really cool to have. Basically, as far as I can think of off the top of my head, the first Pop Rides to not have a character pop being added to it because obviously the car is its own character. And then last but not least, I had for 2022 was a set of Superstore Pops that featured Jonah, Amy, Dina, Glenn and Garrett, which unfortunately that did not happen. And it was surprising because I believe 2022 was the series finale of Superstore. And normally Funko likes taking advantage of making the first wave of pops for a show or that is just ending or had just ended. So I'm really surprised to not see Superstore pops as of yet. And then here we go. MD Shady's 2022 list from last year. So here we go. We're going down the list. First pop we have here. Nicholas Backstrom from the Washington Capitals as just its own pop. Yeah, unfortunately, we haven't seen that yet. I'm surprised because he is one of the longest running Capitals on the team with Ovechkin. So hopefully we do see that considering we have seen pops like John Carlson and TJ Oshie, which have also been on the team for a while. But uh, I feel like we need a Nicky Backstrom. A set of AEW Funko Pops that feature Chris Jericho, Jurassic Express 2-pack, MJF, and Orange Cassidy. We haven't seen any eight EW pops, and I think that the reason for that is because of the agreement with WWE that there wouldn't be any other wrestling pops. I could be incorrect about that, but uh, maybe one day we will see AEW, but I wouldn't be too upset if we never did. Yeah, I heard about that also, about uh, like because of how much 
I guess sales were bad on the New Japan Pops uh, with the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Cody that Funko didn't really want to uh, branch out to other wrestling companies when they know they can make money off of WWE. But moving on to the next one that MD had predicted, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which would feature the Grinch, Baby Grinch, Schoolboy Grinch, Cindy Lou Who, the Grinch Disguise, and the Mayor. Yeah, I really like the idea of these pops. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any of this. But I think that the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was either this year or next year is the 20th anniversary of that movie. So maybe for that, we'll see him. Then we have a set of Simpsons pops, which have Dr. Hibbert, Nelson, Principal Skinner, a Santa's Little Helper, and Snowball 5 2-pack, and Homer with the Car Pop Rides. So for this one, I actually did get one of the pops right, and that is Nelson Muntz. I do wish that we will see some more of these pops, and I think we will. We've seen quite a bit of Simpsons pops in 2022, so I wouldn't be surprised if at least one more of these pops gets made in 2023. A set of Fraggle Rock pops that feature Junior, Mogorg, Poggorg, Doc, and Madam Trashy with rats. We haven't seen any more Fraggle Rock pops, but the Fraggle Rock show, uh, the new one that they just made, is now out or is to be released soon. So maybe with that and Fraggle Rock kind of being on air again, maybe we will see a wave. And it might not be these characters. It might be some of the ones that we've already gotten. But hopefully we do get some of these characters as well. A set of retro toys pops that are Teddy Ruxpin, Raggedy Ann, and Andy two-pack, or it might have been just two separate, I can't exactly remember, Chatter Telephone, and then a retro toys TMNT shredder. So we didn't see any of these. Technically, we did see a retro toy shredder, but it was the Power Rangers and TMNT mashup one. Not exactly what I was looking for, but still a cool pop. Add icon pops of Charmin Bears, Taco Bell Dog, and the Laughing Cow. We haven't seen any of these. I feel like 2022, we didn't get a whole lot of brand new ad icons. We've seen a lot of different versions of some ad icons. For example, the Skeleton Jack for Jack in the Box. A set of pops for Lamb Chop, which feature Lamb Chop, Charlie Horse, Hush Puppy, Buster the Bus Pop Rides, and a Sherry Lewis. Yeah, we haven't seen Lamb Chop pops. I think this is a sweet idea. And hopefully we do one day because I would definitely cop every single one that they make. A wave two of Jingle All the Way pops that feature Booster, Giant Santa, Jamie, and a Turbo Man float moments. We haven't seen any more Jingle All the Way pops, but maybe we will. And like DK said earlier, Booster is definitely one that we want to see. And last but not least for 2022, we got ourselves Barney and Friends, which you had predicted a wave with Barney, BJ, and Baby Bop. Yeah, this also didn't happen. Uh, I think that this would be a pretty cool wave as well, but unfortunately, we just haven't seen it. So it looks like for my list, it seems like I got way less than 2021, but there was pretty much one correct and then like some pops within a different wave that ended up getting made that I got correct. But then for you, it looks like on a technicality, you did get one correct with Nelson for a new wave of Simpsons. So at least you got one right in 2022 compared to None in 2021 in that case. Now we're going to move over to the 2023 wish list. I mean, 2022 was a banger. 2021 from the year prior, I thought could not be topped. So I'm curious to know how 2023 is going to be. And I'm curious to know how many of these will end up being right. So I'll start off with myself. The first wish list that I have is a brand new wave of the office pots, which I mean, I feel like this is going to happen, but it depends on how many of these I will actually get right. And it's mainly because last year, or I should say this year in 2022, as we're recording this, uh, we only got two pops from the office, one being the Halloween Kelly Kapoor from New York Comic Con. And then the other one was the Utica Takeover three pack that got released last minute in 2022 and has not released in North America yet, only in Australia. But the Utica Takeover three pack definitely would have been one I added here had they not announced it. So the wave that I have here. First off, I have Asian Jim because that's probably my biggest want of The Office at that point because that episode was super funny. And then I have Dwight Schrute as Jim Helpert, uh, mainly because we already got the Jim Helpert as Dwight Schrute. So it would be cool to actually get the version of Dwight actually dressed up as Jim near the end of that very same episode. 
I wrote Robert California because I feel like we definitely should have a brand new character in this wave. I mean, it's rare that we get new characters. And then I actually wrote basically, let's have a full on like six pop or close to six pop wave of Halloween office pops. Office is known for having awesome Halloween episodes. And I feel like that'd be something cool to do at, let's say, Funko Ween in 2023 is just do a wave of just Halloween themed office pops so the wave i basically have it and i think i have five or six pops here so it's a good wave uh first is the lady gaga gabe which does seem not likely because they would need like lady gaga rights but if they like kind of switch it up to where it is gabe and then they might write like gabe as pop star i guess maybe they could work around that nurse angela because that was in the very same episode oscar as the rational consumer would be awesome because it's just a regular old Oscar. But then he's like, well, I'm dressed up as a rational consumer. So he's dressed up as a regular person, but it is a regular pop. And then I wrote a Jim and Pam as Popeye and Olive Oil two-pack. I think that would definitely be cool as a nice two-pack with Jim and Pam. And especially they could have kind of like a two-pack and buddy with their kid, who is, I believe, Sweet Pea with their costume also. And then the last pop I put, because once again, it was actually in that same episode, is when Michael Scott dresses up as Daryl Philbin. So he would be wearing the afro. He's got the warehouse outfit on. I think that'd be pretty cool. And I'm hoping that some of these pops end up having the quotes on the top flaps again, because I miss those when it comes to the office pops. Then I have here a wave of WWE pops. I did this in 2020 and see how many got right. I have probably got about half of them right in a way. So the wave I have here, it's mostly with like new or not new wrestlers, but like with current roster members. But I do have some like OG members of the WWE roster that are featured here. Uh, and I think if this was an actual wave, this would be a solid wave. So first and foremost, I think this one, even though there's no dirt sheet pages about it, there's nothing about it, but I feel like it is in the works without even like officially knowing is that I feel like they will make a Cody Rhodes pop for the WWE lineup. It's just a matter of when it's going to happen in 2023. Blonde hair, the exact same entrance outfit as he wore in WrestleMania 38 when he returned. And I mean, if you can make it a deluxe where there's like pyro going off, that'd be sweet too. But just getting a Cody Rhodes pop for the first time in WWE and not New Japan would be really awesome. Then I have here an Usos 2-pack. I'm surprised we didn't even get this in 2022 because they are in such a huge storyline as a part of the bloodline with Roman Reigns. So I'm not exactly sure why that hasn't happened, but I do think at some point it will be released in 2023. Then I have listed here Sami Zayn, especially once again being a part of the bloodline. And it would just be Sami Zayn. Unfortunately, the box would not say Sami Uso. And then the top flap wouldn't say, are you feeling Usi? A Sami Zayn pop would be pretty cool. And I'm surprised they haven't made one yet. But especially because of his involvement with the bloodline, I think it definitely would be cool to be made. Then I wrote Lita because... How hasn't there been a Lita pop? We even have, I believe, two Trish Stratus pops with one being a diamond collection specification and we have no Lita pops yet. I'm a little surprised on that one. And then I wrote Natalia because I think that's also another women's wrestler that deserves a Funko pop at this point. And then this one I have is an in-ring moments. And it's of what many people consider as the greatest WWE storyline of all time. And that is a Kane versus Undertaker in ring moments and where it would take place unknown because i think the safe route they would do wrestlemania 14 for their very first match and that way people would finally get a cane pop with his og attire and then you have like 1998 undertaker and why i say that they can do this in two ways it could be wrestlemania 14 but how cool would it be if they had commemorated it after their inferno match at unforgiven where you can have the ring surrounded by fire and make it glow in the dark. That would just be absolutely insane. And speaking of Undertaker, that's my last pop I have here because my biggest want for the WWE lineup is an American badass Undertaker pop rides. I don't even care what version it is at this point, as long as we have it, whether it's like the first one where he had like the denim vest and he had more of like the orangish hair, or even how I would like it is big evil Undertaker where it's more shorter hair. I think that'd be sweet. But regardless, that should be the next 
pop rides for WWE, even before a potential JBL with the limo pop rides. Then I have here a Ozzy Osbourne Bark at the Moon pop albums, and I would make this a flocked figure. This definitely makes sense. I mean, we've already gotten the Diary of a Madman pop albums in 2022, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, now as I think about it, 2023 will be the 40th anniversary of Bark at the Moon. So if there's going to be any year that they release this pop albums, it's got to be in 2023. And then another album that will be celebrating an anniversary is Linkin Park's Meteora. That album came out in 2003. It would be really awesome for that pop to be made into an album, especially because the last two years we have gotten a Linkin Park pop albums with Hybrid Theory in 2021. And then last year, or this year, I should say in 2022, we had gotten the reanimation pop albums. So, I mean... To kind of make it possibly a tradition to have Linkin Park pop albums every year would still be cool, especially with Meteora, where you have the guy doing the spray paint and he has the gas mask on, I believe. Then kind of moving off of the pop albums realm and going to the deluxe moments that were introduced in 2022. We've seen it with Metallica, Master of Puppets. We had the Kiss. We had the Run DMC and the ACDC and the U2s. But this one is going to be Green Day from Woodstock 1994 in a deluxe moments. This would be awesome. Awesome. If you guys have definitely seen on YouTube, you can find the clip of their concert where there was also a mosh pit and it was super muddy. And during their performance of When I Come Around, a fan actually throws a big piece of mud at Billy Joe's guitar. And this is a great way to bring the Dookie versions of Green Day, considering that's obviously the album that they were touring for. So you have Billy Joe with the blue hair. You have Trey Cool with his green hair, I believe he had. And then just regular old Mike Durnt with his cool looking bass guitar that I remember seeing in that. So having that, I would love much better than a pop albums or deluxe albums for Dookie at this point. Then I have a set of pops for Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo will be celebrating its 20th anniversary in 2023, and we only had four Finding Nemo pops overall. We've had Finding Dory, but I did not count Finding Dory, even though it could count because it's the franchise, but I kept it just to Finding Nemo. So first off, I have just two versions of Nemo and Dory. Don't know exactly what they'll do yet, but I know if they do a wave of pops, there's going to be at least one pop of those characters. And then I have a pop VHS covers of Finding Nemo, which I did predict for a Target Con 2023 prediction, uh, which has not been either denied or confirmed yet as of the recording of this podcast. But if they do plan on doing this, I do think there's two possibilities for this at this point now as I think about it. I think when I predicted it, it was going to be Marlin because it's a way to kind of bring out the clownfish pop and you haven't done a Marlin pop. But there's also kind of like an alternate cover that they have where it is Bruce and you just see the big teeth with the Funko Pop. And I think that's a good idea to bring a new molded Bruce Pop for that lineup where it's just so much detail with the teeth and you can get a better facial expression compared to the original Bruce Pop. And then I wrote Nigel, which is the pelican that you see like in the middle of the movie and he holds Nemo and, or not Nemo, Marlin and Dory in his mouth at one point to get away from the other pelicans and bring them in the dentist's office. I think that'd be really cool to do Nigel. Gil, which which is one of the fish in the dental office that's voiced by William Defoe. And then I wrote a Chum and Anchor 2-pack, which is the two shark friends that are with Bruce. I think that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, Bruce would probably be by himself, so they probably wouldn't do a 3-pack. So making it a 2-pack would be much easier. And then last but not least, I wrote Darla. And I think that'd be awesome because... They could easily do it, especially with a popified mouth where she has the braces. And I think what I would do with the pop is have her holding the fish bag and you have Nemo playing dead upside down. But overall, I think we could be seeing a Finding Nemo wave. And I hope all the pops I mentioned get made. And the next set of pops I have is a 20th anniversary wave of elf pops. 
And I think this is very likely because of the recent release of the NFT set, and especially them releasing it now, uh, by the time you're able to redeem the tokens and it gets shipped out, that I think it'll be released on time for the anniversary of Elf. So if they release a new wave, you can have all those pops, including the NFTs in your collection on time. And the pops I've chosen here, I have a six inch buddy the elf in school desk and i made it a six inch so you can get a better scale of the actual like size of an elf to what buddy is because obviously he's a human a walter hobbs which definitely makes sense because he's you could pretty much say he's kind of the antagonist of the movie a little bit because he's not that nice he's on the naughty list for the majority of the movie this pop if they were to do an elf wave i think funko would do and if they don't, it's a huge missed opportunity. And that is a movie moments of Buddy doing the splits on the escalator. I feel like that's got to happen at some point, especially because they actually teased it in one of the NFT cards. Then I wrote Miles Finch, the smaller author that helps out with Walter and the company to make a brand new book. And then Buddy ends up calling him an angry elf and they get into a fight, which is pretty funny. So I think it'd be cool to add a new character like that. And then the last pop I have is a Walter and Buddy two pack where basically you have like civilized Buddy the elf where he's wearing normal clothes. And it's basically almost like a take your kid to work day, so to speak, where Buddy's in the office, he's trying coffee and he hates it. So I think it'd be cool to have like, obviously another version of Walter like that, but then you have a way to bring in Buddy the Elf, especially because maybe that could be the way that they bring in Walter is by doing a two pack only and not a singular pop of him. The next wish list that I have is for a Nickelodeon series. It's actually a Nickelodeon series that not a lot of people think of because I feel like people forget it's a Nickelodeon series. And that is for Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, which I'm surprised in prior years I have never asked this on my wish list. And I thought I have, but I guess I haven't. So Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, the set that I would have is a Ned Bigby cookie with a pea cookie chase, Jennifer Mosley, coconut head seth powers and you can have him spinning the basketball because that's literally all you see him do is spinning that basketball all the time and then another pop that would have a chase is lisa zemo where you have the common one and she's all like sick and then the chase of her when she's basically all better in season three and looks really nice compared to what she looks like so i think that would be a pretty solid wave i mean it'd be funny to get like the weasel at some point and all that and especially the janitor that'd be really cool but i think this would be like six solid pops to start out a pretty decent wave then my second last wish list that i have here is Something that's related to one of the things I just mentioned about on this list, but I thought this was a cool idea that I wouldn't be surprised if Funko attempts to pull off either this year or next year. So we've had pop albums, we've had pop comic covers, we've had the movie posters, we've had the game covers, but the wish list I have here is pop pay-per-view posters for W. WE. I think that would be pretty sweet. And I'm not exactly sure how they pull off whether it is one singular pop or you do it like the movie posters where you have two characters in there. So examples I have if it was like one singular WWE superstar, I have No Mercy 2007, where the cover of that is Randy Orton holding the dove. And I think that'd be pretty easy for Funko to do. Judgment Day 2008, where it's Triple H and he has the sleeveless orange jumpsuit and the whole poster is like him in a prison. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Or you have more of your either double pops or deluxe forms. WrestleMania 18, which obviously my favorite WrestleMania of all time, where you have Hollywood Hogan and The Rock. And I remember the one poster, it says Icon versus Icon. And then you basically can have them doing like a stare off. And I think that'd be great. And regardless whether it's a singular or it is a deluxe, like I mentioned, I would be getting it regardless. And then an example of what I mean by like a singular one, but making more of a deluxe is WrestleMania 10. And this is an example of acknowledging a pay-per-view that doesn't have anything going on in the poster because I believe the poster is just WrestleMania 10 and then like the date on it and there's no like superstars on it. And the pop I would choose here is Razor Ramon on top of a ladder holding the Intercontinental Championship titles. And I mean, you can do it exactly the way they did with the Clark Griswold VHS covers where it is just a top part of 
whatever he's standing on. So in that case, it was the roof of the house. So in this case, you would at the top of the ladder or actually make a full on, like maybe even four to six inch ladder. And then you have the four inch pop of Razor Ramon sitting on top of the ladder, holding both the Intercontinental titles. I think this is an untapped potential idea for Funko to do, especially to spice up the WWE lineup a little more besides the in-ring moments. And then the last one that I have here, a movie that's celebrating its 25th anniversary and is my biggest want out of anything at the moment. And I mentioned this in 2020. That is Small Soldiers. We need Small Soldiers Funko Pops. And at this point, if they were to go the safe route, I wouldn't be surprised if they did Major Chip Hazard and Archer. And that's it, whether it is in a two pack or... Or it's like what they did with the Hopper and Joy Stranger Things pops and just make two singular pops but sold at the exact same time as kind of a bundle. But obviously, I would love to see the Gorgonites like Ocula, Freakenstein, Slam Fist, and then Commando Elite like Kip Killigan, Nick Nitro, Brick Bazooka, like all of those characters. And even if they somehow made like a 10 or 12 pack involving all of the Gorgonites and Commando Elite, that would be absolutely insane because I don't think there's ever been a 10 pack and especially a 12 pack of pops before, if not mistaken. There have been eight. So now it's MD Shady. All right, so starting out my wish list, I have Earthworm Jim for the games lineup. I think that this could be a decent wave, but I don't think it necessarily has to be a wave. I think it could just be one singular pop of Earthworm Jim, but they could go the route that they do with like the Crash Bandicoot pops where you have Earthworm Jim in his different attires like the uh, like this water gear or scuba gear exactly the same way as they did with the Crash Bandicoot. And of course, they could have the other characters from Earthworm Jim, but I would be completely satisfied with just one singular Earthworm Jim pop. The next pop I have is also part of the game's lineup, and that is Parappa the Rapper. I think that this would be sweet. I have seen some Parappa the Rapper merchandise out. There was those weird PlayStation figures. I don't remember what they're exactly called, but I feel like the Parappa the Rapper, I never really saw that one in store, so I feel like it sold well. So I think it would be smart of Funko to make a pop of Parappa the Rapper. The next thing I have on my wish list is a line of pops for Kim Possible. I think that Kim Possible really does deserve a line of pops. And I think the ones that I've listed would be the perfect first wave. Uh, and then if they decided to do more pops, they could obviously do that. So this first wave, I think, would obviously have Kim Possible. I think that there could definitely be different variants, whether they be con versions or not, but just a normal Kim Possible. And then Ron Stoppable. And I thought about having Ron Stoppable being a pop and buddy with Rufus, but I think it would be better if we just got a singular Rufus pop because I think a lot of people would buy that. And that would be the one pop that sells like the best out of the set. Then we also have Wade, which could technically be like a deluxe pop where he's sitting at his computer desk and he's like typing on the keyboard. I think that would be pretty cool. Then we have Shigo, of course, which is another fan favorite character, and that would actually have a glow in the dark chase. Shigo is a character that's basically just green and black, so those greens would really pop if it did have a glow chase. And then the last character that I think would be part of this wave would be Dr. Draken. I mean, the main antagonist, and it would go perfectly well with the Shigo. So yeah, I definitely think we do need to see a Kim Possible wave, and hopefully we do see these pops. The next item I have on my list is actually a three pack, and that is for Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And guess what those characters are? You guessed it. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They could do singular pops, but I think this makes more sense to just be a three pack and then get it out of the way. And then I think down the line, they probably could do a con exclusive of the wooden plank. I forget what his name is from the show, but I think that that'd be a really funny con exclusive. The next set of pops I have here is for a wave of Arthur Pops. We have seen two Arthur Pops already with Arthur and DW, but I feel like people still want more. The Arthur Pops and the DW Pop, obviously, have gone up in value quite a bit, and I never got my hands on them. I definitely need to get those two Pops. So I feel like a full wave of Arthur Pops would do very, very well. And the Pops that I have for this wave are Buster, obviously being one of Arthur's best friends, Binky, Brain, Muffy, Francine, and then lastly, Mr. Ratburn, which I think would be cool to be a specialty series pop. 
The next two pops I have here are Young Gravy and Baby No Money, which are two pretty much upcoming artists who are uh, growing at a pretty steady rate. I actually did just see them in concert last month or two months ago, and it was a really good concert. And I feel like with Young Gravy now getting some of his songs on the radio, I think that he will be uh, a big name very, very soon. And Baby No Money, of course, as well. So I think that these two pops would be awesome for the Pop Rocks lineup. Whether it be a two-pack for the Baby Gravy Tour or two singular pops, I definitely think there's so many different versions of each of these guys that could be made, so I don't see why Funko wouldn't want to do it. The next item I have is also a two-pack for the Pop Rocks, and that is of Daft Punk. I think that this would be sweet. I really enjoy the designs of their costumes, and I think that there's definitely a potential that they could do different ones, whether you have a common two-pack and then have a chase with a different attire like you do black for the common and then maybe like a silver attire with like a glitter chase that would be pretty cool but i definitely think that there would be more than one version made but these would have to be a two-pack i don't see these being two singular pops the next set of pops i believe i might have put on my list in 2020 and that is for that 70s show one of my favorite shows of all time and it's really cool because on january 19th i believe that 90s show is coming out and most of the original cast will be making appearances on that show so there definitely is some hype over the that 70s show franchise so i think it would be a perfect time in 2023 for Funko to actually finally make some That 70s Show pops. And the list that I have here is for strictly just That 70s Show, though I do think Funko probably would make some for That 90s Show considering it is the new show coming out. So the wave I have here is, of course, Eric Foreman, Donna, Kelso, Fez, Jackie, and then a Red and Kitty 2-pack. And then there would also be, I would like to see a Pop Rides of Eric with the Vista Cruiser, of course, that is the car that Red gives to him early on in the show. The next thing I have listed is Ad Icons. We didn't see a whole lot of Ad Icons in 2022, so I hope that we see a bunch of really good brand new Ad Icons in 2023. So I've actually listed five down, those being Chef Boyardee. I think that this would be awesome. Everybody knows Chef Boyardee, uh, and I think that it would translate very, very well into pop form because it is just a human character and a chef, so I think it would look great. Billy Bob from Showbiz Pizza. I know a lot of people talk about getting Chuck E. Cheese pops, and I do want to see that, but I do think it would be awesome to see some pops for Showbiz Pizza, which I don't think really gets talked about too much. The next pop is one that I could almost guarantee actually does get announced and released in 2023, and that is the Geico Gecko. We did see the Geico Ween Pops, but that's ones that people really didn't care too much about. Obviously, they are cool, but I think people really want to see just your normal version of the Geico Gecko. The next ad icon I have listed is Pud from Double Bubble. That is the character that comes with the little comic that you get in a piece of double bubble gum we have seen the pop for bazooka joe a couple of years ago so i think it would be cool to get a pud and then you have the two like bubble gum characters and then lastly an ad icon that i never really thought about until today and i think that the design of this pop would be really really cool and that is the bic boy which is obviously the logo for bic which is the company that makes pens and lighters and all sorts of stuff and the character is very interesting. It's like a guy wearing a suit, but his head is just all black. And then he has like a shine, I think, which is kind of representing like the ballpoint pen on a Bic where it's just a white patch. So I think that they could implement the Funko eye being white there to get that kind of uh, glare effect going. I think that that would be really cool and definitely an ad icon that I don't think a lot of people, if anybody, really thinks about. And then the last set of pops I have on my list is one of my most wanted besides maybe that 70s show. And that is for Bob the Builder. And I'm talking about the OG Bob the Builder, not the stuff that we have now, which just looks ridiculous in my opinion. But for the OG Bob the Builder, and I actually have a pretty big first wave because I feel like it would have to be just kind of a one and done wave. So this wave would obviously have Bob, and then all of his machinery, I guess you could call them. So you'd have Scoop, Dizzy, Rolly, Lofty, and Muck. I think that that's a perfect common wave with Bob and then his friends or characters there. 
And then I think that there would also be some exclusives, whether they be con exclusives or just shared exclusives. You would see Spud, which I talked about recently, the newest set of Pinocchio for the Netflix series. The Pinocchio in that set really does give me vibes of Spud, the Scarecrow from Bob the Builder. So I think that the pop would look very, very similar to that. And then there's Wendy, of course, which is Bob's love interest who runs like the office at his workplace. And then lastly, Farmer Pickles. I think that these, what would this be, nine pops or eight pops here? That would be an awesome way for Bob the Builder. And I would love to see that. I don't know how realistic this is to be done, but it would definitely be a set of pops that I would buy all of them. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this week's podcast. If you enjoyed this week's edition of a Funko Popcast, make sure you smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below and let us know what is your wish list for 2023. Press the subscribe button for more content like this podcast and any videos we do on this channel in the future. And press the little bell beside it to be notified of when future content like this gets released. And if you guys haven't yet, follow us on all of our social media platforms, which they will be in the description below. But anyways, guys, thank you for listening to this edition of a Funko Popcast, and we hope to see you guys next time. One, two, three, I'm out of here. Can Funko make it? Yes, they can. Peace in, peace out.